a prestigious event to celebrate academic excellence. An event attended by esteemed guests and academics. A total of 34 Well Tassisul University staff members received master's degrees, while another 32 received PhDs, 13 NRF ratings, and seven community engagement awards. I realized when I became the vice chancellor that I have staff members who are talented but who are not recognized. And when we first ran these awards two years ago, they were so excited that most of them decided that they were going to either register for their postgraduate programs or they were going to apply for NRF rating. So this is a way to galvanize them and to make them feel that they've contributed something towards the growth of the institution. There were only four NRF rated researchers in the university, but under the leadership of Professor Songa, the vice chancellor, we now have 44 rated uh, researchers. So it improves the recognition of the institution nationally and globally, and then it also positions the institution to um, access funding. If those uh, researchers write research projects, it's done a greater chance of getting funding. Well, Tassisul University has produced many academics who hold key positions across the country. This institution plans to position itself as a leading institution in research and innovation by 2030. No, I think that it is absolutely crucial that we reward academic excellence. It's especially crucial that we do so in a black university or so-called historically disadvantaged institution because there is an added duty that is placed upon our graduates in order for them to contribute to the redevelopment of society and specifically the redevelopment of the country as a whole. Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation has urged other previously disadvantaged university to follow the same route. As you know, our national development plan, for instance, has set a national target of 75% of all teaching and research staff to have a PhD qualification by 2030. That's your contribution to the NDP. It's very important. The proportion of academic staff with doctorates is generally used as a proxy for a relatively higher research productivity across our universities. Well, I'm concerned that our HDIs and universities of technology still continue to have the lowest proportion of PhD qualified staff. And this has led to many other performance challenges. Zimande says he is committed to fighting inequalities at universities in the field of research and technology. Well, Tassisul University has been lauded for increasing its NRF rated researchers from four just a few years ago to 44. Luandi Lembulali, Ntata in the Eastern Cape.